Hey guys! I hope everyone is having a fabulous spring so far. So one important thing about spring is to be healthy and be active and kind of get your body ready for summer. So today I'm reviewing a product that will kind of help you do that. It's the Skinny Tea Talks. This is a pamphlet. Obviously this isn't tea. So today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about my experience with Skinny Tea Talks and what it might do for you. So I got the Skinny Tea Talks the morning and the night one. There are three options, a 7 day, a 14 day, and a 28 day. I'm doing the 14 day and I'm on about day 10. So basically all you have to do is take the morning tea in the morning and take the night tea at night every other night. So let's talk about the morning tea. This is a loose leaf tea, so you're gonna need a diffuser or a tea bag in order to steep it in the water. And what I used for it is this really, really cute strawberry diffuser that they gave me. So yeah, this is my morning tea. This is the little strawberry diffuser. Oh, it's so cute. Now from strictly a aesthetic point of view, I think the tea looks really pretty. It's got this very herbal uh, look to it, but it's also got little flower looking petals in it. It's just really, really, really pretty. It smells pretty good. I would say that it's got like definitely that herb smell, but it also, it smells like flowers to me. I drink this tea both ways. I've drank it hot like right after. I let it steep for like about five minutes and then I drink it right after. And I've also done what I did today where I let it steep for about five, 10 minutes and then um, I let it almost cool all the way down so it's room temperature and then I drink it. and. I am not a tea fan. I will drink tea when I'm sick, that's about it. But I really like this tea when it's at room temperature. When it's hot, to me it's a little too herbally, herbally, herbs, herb tasting, I don't know. But when it's cool, it just has this really mild taste and I think it's really good. So this morning tea it gives you a ton of energy. I don't drink coffee in the morning. I'm normally just like, I, I move kind of slow in the morning, I take my time but this gives you like a nice boost. It's not overwhelming, it's just like a nice boost, gets you through your day, and I don't know, I just really liked it. It kind of made me like motivated, like it made me want to work out. So I made the nighttime tea just so I can kind of show you guys the tea. And the nighttime tea, like I said, you take it every other night, and this one actually comes in a tea bag already. Now this one has like a really strong smell. You know what it smells like? It smells like when you go to like a health food store and you get iced tea and you don't chill it. Like it smells like room temperature iced tea. <laughs> so it smells like tea basically, but it smells like a really, really healthy, I don't know, to me it almost smells sweet. And honestly, I prefer the taste of this one. I kind of like the stronger taste even though I don't like tea. I like it, like there's a lot going on when you taste it and I like that. Now, about this one is, in the warnings, it tells you that it's like, it has a little bit uh, where it might cause stomach upset, and I would say for like, the first time or two you use it, you probably will have to go to the bathroom more often. I mean, that's true if you like, start any type of cleanse or detox. Uh, if you do like a fruit cleanse or anything of that type, you're going to be going to the bathroom a lot because it's detoxing your body, it's taking out all the impurities, it's kind of trying to flush out all the toxins. To me, it wasn't bad. At the same time, I also have like a stomach of steel. Like I can drink orange juice and like hot dogs with ketchup together, which I actually did like yesterday, which is so gross, but I really seldomly get like upset stomachs from any type of food. And then the nighttime one, it makes your tea like a very, very dark color, but I kind of like it. It just reminds me of iced tea. I bet if you put some ice cubes in there, just iced tea all day. Now it comes with this little brochure, and what's great about the brochure is it tells you all about the tea, which is obviously important, but um, it also gives you a eating suggestion plan, and it tells you what you should eat and what you should really be staying away from on the tea talks. Now I personally try to follow it to an extent. I ate more yogurt with fruit in it, and I ate more vegetables and more, um, more potatoes and more eggs but I also kept as my disgusting diet of like fried chicken nuggets every day and like a ton of butter. And I still eat cookies and things like that on it. And honestly, I have heard some people say that if you keep eating bad on it, it's gonna give you more stomach upset when on this. I didn't experience that. I felt fine, but um, that's just how I eat every day. So I figured like I wouldn't change too much to try to give it like 
is the tea really working or is it my diet that's working? So I kept with my diet and I took the tea and honestly, I think the results were really great. An important thing to remember when doing the tea talks is to stay hydrated and I personally drink water like all of the time. Like I drink like 10 bottles of water a day. I do get some bloating and lately my stomach has been like rock hard and bloated just like constantly because as a lot of you know I got surgery recently and I was on medicine for like two weeks because of that and then I was sick right after it was on medicine another week after that. So my stomach has been like all weird and like bloated and hurting all the time. But I'll show you what my stomach looks like now. So this is my stomach now. This is my stomach and as you can see it's really not like hard, it's kind of gooey. <laughs> no, I'm not ridiculously skinny. No, it didn't make me have an eight pack, but it did make the bloating go away and it did make my stomach softer and I did experience weight loss. I was 105 when I started, a little over 105, like 105.5. Now I am a solid 102, so I have lost three pounds and I haven't finished the 14 days yet. So I was excited about losing three pounds. I thought that was really good and it does help for weight loss but it also helps to get your energy up and just make you healthier by detoxing, by drawing out all the toxins in your body and just making you cleaner, making you feel more energetic. So I also got the chocolate energy tea. I kind of just used it when I needed a little pick-me-up and I didn't want to go to a chocolate bar or ice cream. It smells like a chocolate Easter bunny and it tastes like that too. Like it tastes really good. It is like a little chocolatey but it's not overwhelming and it's not overwhelmingly sweet but it gives you a nice little energy boost which is really good. Overall, how did I like the Skinny Tea Talks? I think it's great. If you want to try a tea that's going to give you a lot of energy, that's really going to take the toxins out of your body and just clean you out. Also, if you have a bloating problem or you have like a lot of water weight or you just need to drop a couple of pounds in two weeks, I think it's really good because it does just kind of flatten you out. It doesn't so much make you have this extreme, rapid, feel terrible weight loss. It's not like that. It's kind of just like it makes you healthier, it makes you flatter, it makes you more lean, and it makes you feel good. If you guys want to try this, I will have a link below and I also have a coupon code that will save you 12%. So you just type in Nikki Crow and you will save 12% and then you can try it out. I hope you guys like this video and if you do, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. If you want to see something else, just comment and let me know. Thank you guys. Bye. Love you. Mwah. Hi guys. To do the one word tag. I'm so excited. So I just had to share. I'm sorry.